What is the best way for you guys to write cold emails with first lines automatically using ChatGPT and this new tool that I just discovered called Diffbot? All right, so if you are creating email outreach or any type of outreach, it is best to make it as custom and as personable as possible, uh, doing research on someone, learning what their background was, where they went to school, their education, what their business does, and crafting a beautiful email showing that you have done research into their business and you know who you're talking to and everything about them. Now, if that sounds like a lot of work, that's because it is. But there's this really cool trick that I've just discovered using ChatGPT, Google Spreadsheets, and Diffbot. Uh, so if you guys wanna learn more on how to do that, jump in and watch the full YouTube video, but I'll quickly explain that basically what you're gonna do is integrate the APIs using their built-in extensions, so no code needed, and then create different parameters to then go ahead and create these first lines. What Diffbot does is it's able to enrich data, so it basically pulls in summaries of the companies and people as well, and then you can have AI go through and scan different information, the company name, the email, the domain, the information, the summary, and then write that first line based on any prompt you give it. So let's jump straight into that video and I'll show you guys how we do this. All right, so there's only two tools that we need. So first off, we're gonna go to extensions right here and we'll do add-ons, get new add-ons. So you're gonna wanna do, and I have both these already, so GPT for sheets. So you're gonna grab this first one, you'll see it's installed and you'll go ahead and have to connect your API. So just one click, grab it from, I have a paid uh, account with ChatGPT. And so you'll need to do that. And then the other one is Diffbot. So this one has a free version and a paid version. If you're gonna do this at scale, you do need the paid version of Diffbot. Same thing, you'll grab this, there'll be an API token, takes 30 seconds to install, so you'll hit install. And then it'll show up in your extensions. So you'll see Diffbot, you can log in here. And ChatGPT, you can enable it and set up your API key here. So those only take a couple seconds. I've already done this to make this video a little bit shorter. Then we're just gonna jump in and I have, I pulled a data list. You can have a VA do this. You can use other tools um, and you can hang out for my recommended list, but I, I do recommend Apollo as one of those tools. Um, there'll probably be a referral link down below if you guys are interested. Of course, that helps me out a little bit. But anyways, jumping in. So if we're using Diffbot, what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna enrich the data. Here is the parameter right here. So we're gonna go, um, you have a choice of enrich organization or enrich people. For this one, we're just gonna enrich the organization and we just need the first parameter to be summary. The second parameter is going to be the company name and then the domain. So that way Diffbot can look up the information and give you a summary. So here it is, it's a little hard to see, but it summarizes the business and gives ChatGPT something to work off of. So that's it. That's all you have to do and you get literally it auto-populated for everyone on this list. So if you're using Apollo, all their information is most likely going to be in Diffbot just on how they're pulling data. So then you're going to create your first line. So we'll come here and this is where the creativity comes in because not all prompts are created equal and you'll have to experiment to see what works best for you. Here is what it looks like. And I have multiple prompts I'm experimenting with to see what works best. And you'll have to A-B test these through email sending. For email sending, we recommend using instantly. Uh, but so basically we'll come in here. And so the, the code to do this is chat GPT. Or so it's just GPT, then your parentheses. Then this first section is going to be your prompt. This second, second section is the description that we got from Diffbot and then you can throw in anything else you need. So I'm just putting in a couple other parameters. I put in the domain and the company name so that way it knows who it's talking to. And you can see that it's all coming in to one piece. So using the provided values, craft an engaging personalized email icebreaker sentence based on your research about the company and any common communication. Um, and then I have some exclusions just so it doesn't say like, hey, or hi, because that's already going to be in there. And that's literally it. It wrote my first line for me. Um, the one thing that everyone wants and is possible but takes custom coding is to have uh, something go scrape their website and get the most recent information. Um, that is a possibility with basically you would have to create a custom script and use different tools to then go crawl. Um, it becomes very complicated and you probably need a developer to set that up. 
Uh, so that's something that we're working on over here. But right now this gives you really good information in first lines. And then you can just upload that into your email sender if you're sending it to instantly. And we can show you guys how to do that in a different video. And then you'll have in your email a parameter just for first lines. And that's it, you're good to go and it'll start running. Um, and this setup took no more than five to 10 minutes. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out, put them in the comments. I will make new videos and make sure to subscribe. Thank you.